Howdy! Danny Kreister is here. There's nothing you wouldn't do to get shit faced. We don't really promote the wino lifestyle, but there's nothing we can do. Don't blame the player, blame the game. Demon alcohol commands. What can booze be made from? Experience tells us that even from manure, just from anything that yeast can eat, turning it into delicious ethanol. What we have today is Coca-Cola. And we're gonna make some moonshine out of it. To make moonshine out of coke, we just have to prepare the environment where the yeast will flourish. Let's check the ingredients. Purified sparkling water, sugar, yeast will gobble it up and turn it into ethanol fart into our moonshine and produce waste, which we shouldn't care about. Then class 4 caramel color, acidity regulator phosphoric acid. Acidity regulator phosphoric acid is something that doesn't let various elements eat it up and make coke moldy, green or tainted. All thanks to acid. So to let our yeast live there, we need something to neutralize it with. First thing that comes to mind is Drano because it's caustic. But I'm not going to drink Drano, so we'll take usual baking soda. Mm. Let's see how it works. We also don't need carbon dioxide, so we'll have to shake up the bottles. Pour some coke in. Oh wow, soda lives in 2077. They've invented a convenient opener for the box. Maybe they'll make one for a golden star? You know, Tiger Bomb, the Golden Star. Ah, you don't know shit, of course, you're like 14. Put some soda in Coke. It starts to foam up. That means the acid gets into reaction with caustic and gets neutralized. So we get kind of substrate, so to speak. Convenient for the growth of bacteria. Mix it up with a screwdriver. Classy. During all that crap, we're also getting rid of carbon dioxide. The only thing I want to do is to check it with a pH meter to make sure the acid-base balance is suitable for life. I have a pH tester, let's see what it will show us. It, it says one for some reason. What is it going to show us in coke? How good did we manage to make the solution? Fuck. To make the solution neutral. 5, 10, 15, 14, 11, 14, 13, 14. Is there a pH level of 14? 19? Fuck! It's like we have made some super acid or super caustic. I don't really remember which is which. The fact is that this pH meter I got on AliExpress just fucked up. Or I fucked up when I was using it the last time because it has to be washed. Anyway, it's wrong and will be punished. Let's just taste it. Mm. <laughs> Salty coke. Is it going to foam up some more? No, it isn't. That means that there's no acid and no carbon dioxide left. <laughs> now we'll just have to fill a big fermentation tank with coke, neutralize it and add yeast. Well, it's kind of snapped out of it. Although the numbers are still dancing a bit, but most of the time I see 9.5. Fuck it. Let's consider it to be a bit over alkalized. I'll leave for later. Don't know if it fucking works at all, but we're gonna mix it just by sight. I don't want to estimate how much phosphoric acid is there, how much soda we have to add, don't need that shit. Ah, there's our fermentation tank, long time no see. Let's fill it with coke. We need about 6.5 gallons considering the amount of yeast we have. One down, fuck yeah, good pressure, the cap goes in, screw it, we'll do. I have an idea. To empty the bottle faster, you have to stab it and spread the wound with a knife. Then it goes down faster. Really want to fuck it up with a knife, but everything will be sticky. That sucks. How many? Four, four bottles? More coke. I want six gallons. Last time we made booze, I said that I missed one important point, which is called infa... in... in uh, fuck... in... Infusion mash? The thing is that the starch in barley wine, if you remember, has a large chemical formula. Too complicated. And the yeast is an idiot. It can't work with something complicated, so we need to turn starch into simple sugar. So when we get the starchy brew, we have to warm it up to 150, 1500? Don't remember. Anyway, up to some level, so the starch will turn into usual sugars. To make it simpler, so it'll be easy for the yeast to eat it. 
But with coke, we don't have to fuck around and can't let them eat usual sugar as it is. Because I have no idea in what shape or form it is there. Stab, stab, stab. Must not get used to stabbing people. So the final bottle. Mm, how many do we have there? One, two, three, six, ten bottles. Eleven. Ah, one's on the floor. Eleven two liter bottles. One liter left. Not gonna kill it, might use it later. One liter exactly. Trust me. So we have 6.5 gallons of coke. It's warm enough here. Oh, here's the cap. It's warm enough here. I'm not going to stick the fish tank heater in to warm it up because the yeast is going to feel quite comfortable already. Let's add yeast. Oh no, I'm talking shit. We didn't. How is it called? Didn't uh, neutralize the acid. Let's add baking soda and see. I hope one pack is enough. I wish I could wash the milling cutters in there, but no, that's another experiment. Many bubbles. They go shh. Check it out. <laughs> Shouldn't breathe it in or I might get high. But well, why not? Let's add some more soda. Observe and keep doing it while 6.5 gallons of coke are foaming up. <coughs> Fuck me. Okay, let's taste it. Don't feel any acid. I'm not really a pH meter myself, so let's check it with the with the shitty one. In the land of the blind, a pH meter is a stick. Most of the time, it says something from 5 to 7, so I think we can add some more soda. I can taste a bit of soda, which means it's enough. Let's get rid of carbon dioxide and add a pinch of soda to make sure it's finally neutralized. What? What? Air pump, that's what. And by the way, as a Russian magic guy, Amayak Akapan used to say, Oh, come on already, fucking subscribe to the channel. Why? Why don't be a wuss? <laughs> this barbaric way will help us to push out all carbon dioxide. Then we'll check if everything is okay. Remember the three shake rule. Yep. Fuck, it's all dirty now. Sweet, sticky, yuck. Let's see what the soda says. Soda says nothing, no reaction whatsoever. That means the solution is either neutral or caustic. It's about time to add yeast. Whiskey yeast leftovers from our last moonshine session. Let's pour them in. Close up the lid. There we have a fermentation lock, which doesn't let all the crap from the air in, in our tank. Also, there's a second hole. It was used for a fish tank heater, but it's fucking useless, so I'll stick a drill in there. Cone, cone, closed, closed, fucking A, success. I'm going to fill the fermentation lock with non-neutralized coke. Let's see how it will work out. That's right. Now we'll let all that crap ferment, ferment like 10 days until the bubbles keep coming up in the lock. In 10 days, we'll start to distill. So after some time, our coke has fermented. Yeast has eaten all the sugar and it has turned into booze. <coughs> Shit, something between quas, grandma's socks and coke, which is quite strange. Let's taste it. <laughs> Well, what can I say? There's no sugar in there, but there is a taste of something rotten. Seems like it didn't brew properly. I can taste alcohol and a hint of soda. Okay, we'll distill that crap. This time we have two new areometers from 40 to 70 and from 70 to 100. The one I used in the previous video is not accurate. It bullshitted us a bit, like the whole 20%. That's some wicked shit! Let's get some more for probing. So it says something around 20, which is bullshit, because it's around 10 here, approximately 10%. So now we have all the material for distillation. Yeah, some cool stuff. Moonshine still, it has a new cooler, more efficient than the previous one, and we can warm it up on an induction stove because it's made of stainless steel. 
It can be done with a copper one, I guess. Nah, screw it. In order not to fuck around and change water every half an hour, which must be approximately 55 Fahrenheit, and in an hour or every half an hour it warms up to about 70 and fucks up all the process, we are gonna use dry ice. What do we have to do now? Our brew is 10% alcohol. We have to distill it under 212 Fahrenheit to separate all the water we don't need. We'll get clear alcohol, well, how clear? Moonshine with heads and tails with some level of proof. We'll dilute it to 20% alcohol and distill it again to get the clean product, getting rid of all the heads and tails. So we have just to connect the coil. Nice! I love it! Can't fucking live without it! Fuck! Take two! The steam temperature is reaching 100 Fahrenheit. Everything under 78% will distillate now, and then up to 100. After that we'll pour all the liquid back, dilute it to 20% and <laughs> distill it again. So what? <laughs> that noise pisses me off. It should be one drop in two seconds, but look at it. How fucking fast the booze is squirting out. Okay, we have some already. Let's see. Check the ABV level. How boozy it is. Smells like Black Russian. Not the proper one, but canned shit they sell here. Ethanol and some coke aroma. So what is the ABV? At least the shop assistant told me it's much better than that one. Well, let's calibrate that one too. Let's see what it says. An old one says 40%, a bit more, about 43. On this one the scale starts with 40 and goes up to 70. Wow, seriously? I thought it'll be like 20% considering that one is faulty, but no, no, baby, it says 40. 44%, not bad. How does it taste? Right now, maybe because of the fusel oils, it tastes like vodka with coke and soap. No fun at all. If you look closer, it's a bit muddy. Coke, after the fermentation didn't precipitate out, the color is the same Coca-Cola color. And some of that colorant somehow goes into the tubes, <laughs> is distilled with the booze. And now I'll distill it on 212, 212 Fahrenheit. Fuck the temperature control and other crap, let's distill everything we have in the still on 212. When all that crap we get, the crude alcohol we dilute to 20% and distill again. I'm not going to filter it this time to get the clean experiment. Not chemically clean or clean product, but to see what you can get if you don't filter the coke moonshine. What overtones and aromas we'll get. Okay, our moonshine still is done rattling. Let's put everything we have together. Funny thing, I just checked that alco meter, it says 20% even in clear water. Cunt. Screw it. We have two more, gonna use them. So now we have to mix all that shit, dilute to 20%, pour out this shit, pour in that shit and distill up to 60 to 70. I guess for this we'll need, I mean, up to 70 to 100. This dude, let's go. If it was about 40 here and here's 20, I think we need the same bottle of water. Okay, we'll deal with it. First of all, we need to get rid of that crap. So we pour the booze back in. That 20% also goes in and then we'll add some water to make the whole solution 20%. And a bottle of water on top. What do we have here? What do we have? Let's turn it and distill it again. Okay, enough is enough. We got four ounces. We do it the science way today with digital scales and moonshiners calculator. We had 1.5 ounces of heads. We cut them already. These are the hearts. The rest is crap with tails. Bottom line, what can I say? Here's the pure moonshine. Let's pour it in this bottle because it's easier to use the alco meter in here. Notice the 70 to 100 scale. It reaches the bottom. Weird. While distilling it, it said 75. Now it's about 60. Let's try another one from 40 to 70. 
What will it tell us? Well, more than 50 and less than 70. We can make a blunt conclusion that it's about 60. Let's check with this one again. Yeah, over 60, close to 70. According to the Moonshiner's calculator, it should be about 65. During the distillation process, when I was taking some probes, it was 75. 70 fucking 5%. About its flavor and especially the taste of coke. If it's still there in that fucking brew... Actually, it smells like a rotten prison hooch. Because our brew got a bit fucked up and its flavor is somehow eh. After the second distillation, there is no smell. I don't know about the taste, but there is definitely no Coca-Cola smell in it. Let's take a sip. Fuck, I hope I won't go to the intensive care. Fuck shit, 60%. It's not like pulling your socks up to your shoulders. What the fuck are you laughing at? Get over here, standing there, laughing. Here you go, bottoms up. No, you do, you do the... I don't like the way it smells at all. It also tastes like soda. <laughs> How was it? It feels like I drank death and darkness. Yeah, you said the same about my whiskey. Well, let's say we made some moonshine out of coke. At least some alcohol. It proves that we can make booze out of anything which is suitable for yeast. So, 60%, not bad. This crap we're gonna stick somewhere in your ass. Uh, we'll pour it into a bottle and leave it till better days. I hope soon we'll be able to test several types of moonshine with some awesome dudes. Coca-Cola moonshine, the first of its kind. Well, not the first, of course. While making this video, I found out that some guys have already distilled it and there are some YouTube videos. But anyway, I consider this experiment to be successful. 60% clean, maybe not too tasty, but still, this drink will get you shit-faced. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. It was Danya Kraster. There's more to come. More info, more videos, more interesting, cooler and radical. See you later and don't forget to subscribe.